Bruller and I'm a PhD student at the Johannes Kepler University in Austria and I'm going to present your ASM 2020 paper characterizing energy consumption of third-party API libraries using API utilization profiles. Energy consumption has become an important non-functional quality aspect in mobile application development. However, according to a recent study from Pinto and Castor, who asked mobile developers how they approach energy-related bugs, the general consensus was to outsource the energy-inefficient code to cloud environments. So the question arises, given that mobile resources, resource-constrained devices have become a crucial aspect of people's everyday life, are developers aware of the energy implications of their software design choices? So given this premise, the software energy consumption research field showed considerable contribution in recent years, covering areas from energy profiling to software energy measurement to power modeling. Our work contributes to that field of research, as we envision that in future, third-party libraries maintained in software repositories like Maven Central or GitHub provide information on their energy footprint. This would allow mobile developers to make an informed decision about the energy implication of dependent libraries during development. To lay the foundation for our vision in our paper, we investigated a novel approach to software energy consumption profiling. In essence, for our ASM 2020 paper, we investigate the connection between the utilization of the Android API through third-party libraries and their energy consumption. Our approach stems from the assumption that the way a particular library or application interacts with its underlying API has direct influence on its energy consumption. Therefore, we introduce API utilization profiles, which stem from this general assumption. To further show the connection between our proposed new API profiles and the energy consumption, we empirically examined their correlation using two experiments. The first one is dedicated to Android I.O. operations. The second one examines UAPI profiles on a popular open source library for JSON document processing. But first, let me give you a definition of the proposed UAPI or API utilization profiles. UAPI profiles are a measure of how a particular method from an application or library interacts with a provided API. Therefore, we use the dynamic call graph as a foundation to compute the frequency of API interactions of all methods. As a result, the UAPI profile of a method is defined as 1 plus the sum of the UAPI profiles of all adjacent or better say called methods. Let me give you a small example. Let us assume this is a very, very simple uh, dynamic call graph that we've obtained for a test method ti. Each vertex denotes a method, each edge denotes a call from one method to another. So method ti calls method a, a calls method c, b calls method e, and so forth. When we apply the UAPI computation for method ti, we end up with the values depicted in the figure on the right. And by applying the UAPI computation to a particular call graph, we end rich set call graph with information on the API interactions for each method. Now to empirically evaluate if our assumption that using UAPI profiles can serve as a lightweight approach to better comprehend the energy consumption of a library or application, we defined the following experiment protocol, which in turn will be used um, for our study. The test bed we used for Obtaining the relevant data for our study comprises a host PC, which serves as the experiment execution coordinator. And is responsible to collect energy traces recorded using the monsoon high voltage power monitor, a device which is commonly used in software energy consumption research. And it is also responsible for collecting execution traces from an attached Android device. For the Android device we used throughout our experiments is the high key 960 Android development board with an octa core arm big little processor and three gigabytes of SD memory and the device runs Android version 8.0 and we used Android API level 25. For each experiment we collected the energy consumption of a particular execution, the runtime for each method executed, the execution 
traces from which we derive the dynamic call graph and using that dynamic um, dynamic call graph and the collected energy profiles, we were able to um, attribute the per method energy consumption and we were also able to compute the um, per method UAPI profiles. Using uh, the test bed and the defined experiment protocol, we verify the connection between the proposed UAPI profiles and the per method energy consumption using two test scenarios. For the first scenarios, we took inspiration from the data set defined by Roja et al, which was presented at ASM 2019. We um, evaluated two different cases comprising different approaches available in the Android API to reading and writing a file of size of 10 megabytes. The table on the left outlines the classes and methods involved in this first scenario. In total, we recorded uh, 188 individual test executions on our testbed. We further computed the correlation between the proposed UAPI profiles and the measured energy consumption with a result that for the right scenario, we get a significant correlation with an R value of 0.99 and for the read scenario with an R value of 0.84. If we take a closer look at the data, we can observe that the UAPI profile, which we can see at the bottom for uh, the writing case on the left side and for the reading case on the right side, uh, that the overall trend of the UAPI profile follows the trend of the um, um, energy consumption readings which are presented in the plots uh, at the top. We can also see that reading a file is more energy expensive than writing it, which confirms basically findings from Roja et al from 2019. For the second test scenario, we used Google JSON as a prominent, which is a prominent Java library for JSON uh, document processing, for which we use the available unit tests as a basis for our experiment. The library was instrumented to collect execution traces and deployed to the test pad. For an overview on the API packages involved in the test, please refer to our paper. In total, we recorded 8,635 individual test executions and collected approximately 3.2 million attributed method traces, which means methods attributed with energy consumption values and attributed with computed UAPI profile values. Um, again, we computed the correlation between the energy consumption and the proposed UAPI profiles. And again, we got a significant correlation with an R value of 0.84. The image on the right shows the result of the Google test scenario for readability. We grouped the data uh, given their min, max, and interquantile ranges in four bins. And in general, Again, we can see that the overall trend of the energy consumption is followed by the UAPI computation. However, there is one exception. The first bin spans a wide range up to the UAPI value of 200, nearly 200,000. This is due to the fact that um, very fundamental APIs, like from example, for example, from the Java Lang package, are heavily used um, throughout uh, the application, um, whilst their contribution to the overall energy consumption is very low. And to account for that, we are currently investigating possibilities to incorporate a weight term in the computation of the UAPI profiles. To conclude, UAPI profiles, um, given our experiments and the results of our experiments, serve as a lightweight and feasible approach to characterize the energy characteristics of third-party libraries. The computation does not involve any special hardware and there are no alterations on the target mobile device required. So given our, result and our, uh, given our results, we conclude that our initial research shows a promising, uh, promising research direction. However, we believe further research is needed to improve the UAPI computation. Um, as I already stated, uh, we want to incorporate weights into the UAPI computation to better account for situations where, e.g., uh, very fundamental APIs 
uh, contribute heavily to the uh, UAPI computation while their energy consumption is very low. With these concluding remarks, I would like to finish my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.